Hello everyone, this is Dharani working as Assistant Professor, Department of Costume Design and Fashion at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we discuss about the topic is by Fiber and Yarn Science. Introduction Textiles have such an important on our daily lives that everyone needs to be known something about them. From earliest time, people who have used textiles of various types of covering, warmth, personal adornment, and even to display personal wealth. Textile fibers are materials of natural or artificial origin which can be converted into yarn and fabric for clothing and also for domestic and industrial purpose. Definition Fiber is defined as a fine standard and tissues for plant or animal or any synthetic materials drawn out into very slender filament and subsequently cut into required length. This material should have the sufficient length, fillability and strength. Properties of fiber. The properties can be divided into two groups. The first one is essential properties. The another one is desirable properties. Essential properties. The essential properties are stable length, tensile strength, fineness, spinability, uniformity. Stable length. Other factors being equal the longer the fiber, the stronger the, stronger the yarn. The lower limit of length in case of commercial textile fibers should not be less than 1 cm. Tensile strength. Weak fibers cannot produce a stronger yarn. In individual fibers must have sufficient strength to withstand normal mechanical strain in the processing. The resistance of a fiber to use and varies considerably depend on its tensile strength. Fineness. In a fiber, the ratio or relationship of length to width or cross-sectional areas is expressed as its fineness. In a coarse fibers, the length is about 700 times more than a width. The ratio may be even 5000 in case of very fine fibers. Only fine fibers can produce fine yarns. Fineness can determine the end uses of the fiber. Spinability. Spinability includes several physical properties each having an effect on the ability of the fibers to be spun into yarn. Example, stable fibers must have to be capable at taking a twist. They must have a certain degree of friction against one another to stay in a place. One pull is applied to the yarn and must be able to take on holes special finishes for lubrication during spinning or to provide additional surface resistance to abrasion. Uniformity. This means uh, evenness of individual fibers in the length of the diameter. The fiber processing this pro property can produce personally even threads. This is also important in connection with the strength of the re resulting yarn. The more uniform the yarn stronger, stronger the yarn. Desirable properties. The desirable properties are crimp, elasticity, quotient, density, plasticity, absorbency, realignment, colors, luster, static, electrical resistance. Crimp. Crimp is the weaviness of the fiber. It is the natural quality of the merino wool. Fine wools usually many fine weaves. Coarse wool is more curled rather than crimped. Crimped is measured by the difference between the length of the crimped fiber. Crimps expressed as percentage of the unstretched fiber's length. Elasticity. Elasticity is the uh, property by which the fiber tends to recover its original length upon the removal of stress that causes def deformation. Density. Density is the mass or weight of the material per unit volume, generally expressed, expressed in grams per cubic centimeter. Since the volume is affected by the lumen in halo fibers, porosity and the amount of crystallity in the term section, certain section of the individual fiber, the true density of uh, difficult to the determine and the specific gravity is generally the preferred method of expressing the weight of the textile fiber. Plasticity is the property of solid by which under certain contents of temperature and pressure it can be made to take and shape of any mold 
and retain of shape after cooling synthetic and thermoplastic materials are all heat softened absorbency more textile fibers absorb moisture from the air it is the important that the market purchase of fibers and yarn known their moisture content so that he will not be paying the fibers price for water the amount of moisture present in exposed as a percentage of the original weight of the fiber or its own dry weights resilience resilience the fibers springing back or recovery of the fiber when it is realized from a deformation resilience also a desirable property of filling fibers for pillows and mattress and some types of weaving apparels capillarity and porosity the two terms expressed properties with the similar influence of the ability of textiles fibers or yarn to expert accept and hold at dye a finish a lubricant or even resin in order to increase the wrinkle resistance of the fabric or to give it a wash and wear finish color most natural fibers have a same colors for example silk is a yellow to tan wool is brownish to tint cotton is creamy white brown most of the synthetic fibers to have a slight creamy or yellowish color therefore they must be bleached or boiled and stripped of their color by some chemical process in order to produce as white a fiber and yarn as possible luster generally a certain amount of luster or light reflect uh, and desirable to give wearable brightness intensity as a direction light of a viewing or moved to shown of brightness and any woven in or printed pattern on textile goods static electrical resistance phenomenon of the static electric electricity creates a problem in a spinning and other processing of textile fibers especially in room with very low reactive humidity static electrical properties create problems in the packaging and in the shoeing thank you